guys welcome back all right so now we've gone over a lot of terms and now we've went from talking about stimulus and responses to talk about respondent behavior to operant behavior we know from previous videos where I told you that most of ABA has to deal with operant behavior we select a particular behavior and then we reinforce it or we don't reinforce it or we include um, something that will de decrease the behavior from happening but that is all learned so remember we talked operant behavior is learned behavior we teach it so now we're going to refer to something called operant conditioning let's take a look at it so operant conditioning it's a process and selective effect of consequences on behavior so you're selecting which consequence the behavior is going to come in contact with Remember that operant behavior is our three-term contingency, which is A, B, C, antecedent, behavior, consequence. If you have an antecedent, then you're gonna have some type of response or behavior, then you're gonna have some type of consequence. With operant behavior, you're learning from whatever the consequence is after the behavior. So remember that the antecedent stimuli comes before the behavior and the consequence happens after the behavior. So in order for an individual to learn, they're going to have two other terms that we're going to come into contact with. We're going to talk about reinforcement, which you kind of have an idea. We talked a little bit about it already. And then also we have an operant condition called punishment. So these are some terms that you'll need to be familiar with. And a lot of times they're used incorrectly. So when we're talking about reinforcement and ABA, we're simply talking about whether or not the future behavior increases or either it decreases, okay? So reinforcement is said to increase a future response so it's reinforcement is going to increase the response or reincrease the behavior odds of happening again so reinforcement increases future behavior not the behavior the behaviors already happened Remember, it happened before the consequence. So that means you are waiting for it to happen again in the future to see if it worked, what you implemented worked, or if what you implemented, they discriminated and learned from, okay? And punishment decreases future behavior. response or behavior. So these are terms that you're going to need to be familiar with. Just kind of, we're going to go into more detail as we get into the actual task list and working on the task and how to implement them. But just for the sake of it, remember that when we say reinforcement and we're talking about the, in, we're talk, talking in regards to increase of the future behavior. It increases the future behavior and punishment decreases future responses. Okay. So I'm going to let you look at it for a second. You probably have like a hundred questions. Now, they fall under the consequence again because the behavior has to happen first. If we have a behavior, then the consequence is going to determine whether they come into con if they come into contact with reinforcement, most likely the behavior will happen again in the future. And if they come into contact with punishment, most likely the behavior will decrease in the future. So let's do an example so you'll understand what, I, what I'm saying. So let's do this example. Let's use mom again. Let's say mom, the behavior was team, uh, asking for the cookie. 
receive the cookie. So receiving the cookie was the actual reinforcement and it should increase the asking for cookie behavior. Okay. So did we expect that next time in the future he'll keep continuing to ask mom for the cookie, okay? So grandma, I'm gonna change it up here, just a little bit. He's still asking for the cookie. But instead, grandma tells him to, you're not getting a cookie, go sit down. So she gives him like a reprimand, you're not getting a cookie. You're not getting a cookie, go sit down. Or stop asking for a cookie and go sit down. So this right here should cause him to decrease asking for a cookie from grandma. So that kind of gives you an idea, but remember we won't know until the future. We won't know until he gets a chance to come into contact with the stimulus, which is mom, or come into contact with the stimulus with grandma, which could be the next day, which could be in a couple of hours, just depending on other variables. But for the sake of this, just remember that awkward precondition is the process and selective effect of the consequence on the behavior. The consequence of the behavior terms are going to be reinforcement and punishment. If the person comes into contact with something that's great and it's reinforcing, it'll increase the probability in the future that that same behavior is going to occur again. If they come into contact with something that's not great for them or the experience sucks, then it's going to decrease the future that, that, that they would do that same behavior. So I hope that that kind of made sense to you. Hang in there, we got a couple of more basic concept terms we're gonna go over, and then we'll start to work on the things in your task list.